Ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. My second channel is officially monetized, which means that I can't accidentally say f during my live streams anymore. Which, by the way, I've never done that. The internet is a tool, and as such, you must use it as one. I'm not too sure what the internet was originally invented for. Probably something to do with, like, NASA or the government or some shit. But I can promise you, it was not invented to distribute content. Because if it was, we'd probably have more nice things to watch than just Family Guy funny moments. The internet has allowed many talentless dipshits to not only create media, but become famous off of it. This is the part where I make a joke about society, uh, but I can't be fucked, so I'll just put a meme up on the screen for you. Content is getting shorter and shorter with the addition of Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and of course TikTok. However, every man-made horror beyond my comprehension comprehension had to start somewhere, and this one starts with Vine. Vine is viewed with a lot of nostalgic praise, and it makes sense because typically people who are pushing 30 tend to latch on to shitty things once they realize that they're old as fuck. Who could forget such classics like these nuts, only a spoonful, and of course, Bruh. In all seriousness, Vine was bad, and I'm not saying there wasn't good content on Vine, but overall, Vine's existence was a net negative. And aside from obviously launching the careers of Lele Pons and the Paul brothers, Vine began a desperate thirst for quick, dopamine-fueled content. The My Name Jeff to Skibbity Toilet Pipeline has been detrimental to society. I've already said society twice in this video, so that's a pretty good indication of where this video's headed. The failure of Vine forced many of their star talents to become Instagram comedians comedians because ultimately the only way that these people flourish is in a short form setting and that's me being generous because as a result essentially 95% of these dipshits are irrelevant and broke speaking of being irrelevant and broke I have merch and you should buy it or just give me free money on patreon I, I really don't give a shit anyways I'm gonna kind of do a content audit on a few specific washed up viners which means rather than dissecting their terrible vines I'm going to dissect their terrible content they posted afterwards instead because in reality the world of content creation isn't about what you've done rather it's what have you done for me lately and these people lately haven't done much. A few things to look out for are the following six tropes. Overuse sound effects and memes. Editing yourself into a situation that you have nothing to do with. Funny faces that aren't funny. Softcore pornography. Stealing yo bitch. And my personal favorite, blatant racism of course. And for each individual video, there's at least one of these, more than likely two or three. I was initially inspired to make this video because I randomly saw Brent Rivera on my For You page and holy shit, I don't know how this guy is famous. Shh, I'm about to prank my girlfriend. He's out here. <laughs> this is a cuckold fetish. Why would you make this? Also, what the fuck is this mattress? Did you cut a human-shaped hole out of your mattress just for this bit? That only makes me believe that this really is you fulfilling some kind of weird, depraved sexual fantasy. What other utility do you get out of this mattress? How do you justify doing this? How expensive are mattresses? Oh my goodness! This is insane. You are a psychotic person. I hate this Baba boy. Well, I can't say the N-word, but I certainly do agree with the sentiment. That wasn't very hashtag relatable of you, Brent. Like, I get the cupcake one. I've seen people do that. And personally, I do eat cinnamon rolls the same way, just not with the, the, the Chinese sticks. What are they called? Am I retarded? But the pizza one is nonsensical. First off, eating the full pizza like a taco is already impractical enough, but what does cutting the crust off do? This is the main issue with Brent's content. He makes the most unrelatable, relatable content. His merch is, is just called relatable. It just, it says relate. Am, am I supposed to wear this? I'd feel unsafe wearing this merch. I feel like any sane man would snap if they saw this. Hashtag me on my way to hashtag kiss my sister. <laughs> hashtag relatable Brent Rivera. He has so many videos just about annoying his sister because I guess that's like a very relatable thing. Why? That hashtag epic moment when I hashtag epically fart on my sister. That hashtag awkward moment when I hashtag fuck my sister. I'm done with Brent Rivera. Let's find the next piece of shit. Curtis Lepore, well known for being the guy that always asks for consent. If I had to describe a millennial, I'd probably just describe Curtis Lepore. Unfunny, annoying, childish, probably a rapist. Oh. 
what is with the farting shit? Is this just like the easiest joke to make? Just farting near people? Hey guys, farting and poopy. That's funny, right? <laughs> that relatable moment when I need to take a shit? Bruh. Bruh. Guys, smash the like button for this epic poop. How old is Curtis Lepore? 40 fucking years old. Dude, get a fucking job. Is the joke that she fucked the dog? Yeah, I hate when this happens. It's the fucking worst. My face when my girlfriend fucks my dog? Bruh. Oh, hell no. Whoa. Hey, yo, let me get that number. Sure. Bruh. Me when I'm farting? Bruh. Bruh. Look at the fucking comment section. It's full of fucking laughing, crying emojis. LMFAO. Yo, I LOL'd. I'm mad she still gave the number, though. Is the fucking lobotomy convention in town, Curtis? This is who watches your content. You're like Coco Melon for mentally challenged adults. I'm sick of Curtis. Let's find someone else. Peaks. I don't want to say much about this guy, uh, mainly because he just makes me kind of uncomfortable. This might be the gayest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, imagine getting head from an attractive woman, and all you can think about is getting approval from other men. Hashtag funny, hashtag comedy. It's not either of those. It's just really, really gay. And it's okay to be really, really gay, by the way. I'm just pointing out that it is. Peek seems to hypersexualize women in his content in what I would assume to be a desperate attempt to conceal his flamboyantly gay sexual preferences. Like, if I had a friend who was constantly sexualizing women every chance they got, it would just feel like they're trying to prove something to me. And that seems to be what Peeks does in his videos. Is that Jerry Perp Drank? I, f I think I remember that guy. At Perp Drank, 3.2 million followers. Black creator. Yeah, thanks, man. I couldn't tell. Got a tattoo of my dad, and it's just nothing's gonna be that. Yeah, nothing Nothing is there. LOL, guys, I don't have a dad because I'm black. Isn't that funny? Hundreds of years of persecution has caused people with my skin color to live and exist in unfair conditions, creating social patterns within my ethnic group that have set us up for failure and continues to perpetuate the cycle of systemic racism that may never go away without legislative action and potentially a revolution. <laughs> Bruh. That is hashtag relatable. Stereotypes can totally be funny, but if the the entire joke is is just a stereotype you're never gonna make anyone laugh it's not funny at all right like i could be way more funny and racist than that That woman fucking died, dude. Holy shit. Just laughing crying emojis on a video of an old woman's death. Me when I get the epic boner? Bruh. Ain't even that fat, though. What, what the fuck is going on? Wait, what's the name of that guy that did the only a spoonful? King Batch. King Back. I don't fucking know. He seems to be the most famous person out of everyone, at least in the most meaningful sense. I mean, it looks like he's on The Walking Dead or something. They just don't give a fuck anymore, I guess. Yo, can you call the Uber? Yeah, I got you. Huh? Oh no. What? Bro, you, you got the flashlight on? In broad daylight? So How is this an old person thing? I feel I feel like anyone would do this. Oh, what's that, dude? You forgot to run the dishwasher? Sounds like you're getting old as shit. That is not true, King Batch. That is not hashtag relatable. Time to fuck. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of being like when you tell a girl you have a functioning nervous system. Like, yep, time to fuck me, guys. We're talking about base level shit here. Liking Andrew Tate does make you unfuckable, but disliking Andrew Tate doesn't make you fuckable either. Much like having a nervous system doesn't make you fuckable. Why would you even make fun of people for not liking Andrew Tate? Do you make fun of people for having skin and teeth too? Okay, I've spent way too long making fun of black people. I, I need to end this video making fun of a cracker. He's sick my teeth into one of them. Nash Greer, that's a good one, right? Ah, oh, fuck, he doesn't make Instagram comedy anymore. And he has mixed race children? Bruh. That is disgusting. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I have no problem with race mixing, I swear. What about, uh, Cameron Dallas? Fuck, he also quit. You guys remember that one video where, where Nash Greer and Cameron Dallas made that video telling young girls to shave their arm hair off? Shave, brush your teeth, arm shave.
Shape. This stuff when you have a little peach fuzz and we're, like we're making out. <laughs> oh no! It's Her arm hair, hair just it's wax like, shaved. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst when there's hair. What a bunch of fucking assholes! Oh my god! I don't think there's any more. I can't find anyone. They're all fucking irrelevant. Oh, what about Lele Pons? Fifty-four million followers. I need to. I need to go to the hospital. This is not what I want. This is just a bunch of Dancing with the Stars shit. Where are my relatable moments, Lele? I need them. Hey, Lele, my friends are coming over, so keep it down. Like your hot friends. I can't fuck. I'm I'm done with this shit. Well, I hope I've illustrated something important to all of you. Everything you remember liking is way worse than you remember. Like, I remember re-watching Smosh videos like a year ago or something, and I thought like, oh man, these were so funny back in the day, and they just suck total ass. They're not funny at all. I promise, if there's anything you remember liking, you don't like it anymore. I promise you. I admittedly do have this weird sadness with Vine where I do kind of miss it but I have no reason why, I just do. And I felt like I had to shit on Vine a little bit, mainly because there's no drama to leech off of. If you guys have any ideas for similar videos to this, leave them in the comment section. And make sure you smash the like button and subscribe for epic sex. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.